G'day guys, I'm Mitchell Dale, joined by Martin Lenahan for RLW TV. Now Leno, the Rugby League Week Player of the Year leaderboard, it goes behind closed doors tonight. As it stands, Roger Tuivasa Shek is sitting in number one position. The man with the dancing feet, the Roosters fullback, went to uh, number one this year uh, with Mini retiring. He's killing it, isn't he? And I reckon tonight he takes on the Tigers. I'm tipping uh, 250 metres for Roger. Uh, a couple of tries. Couple of tries. Uh, yeah. Maybe a nice eight or nine out of ten in the ratings. So, uh, look, rewarding consistency, of course, this award. We rate every single player out of ten, not the old 3 2 1. It's every player gets a rating. He's having a fantastic season. And uh, the Roosters, as they keep building, Roger will just keep building as well. So he's, uh, he's in the box seat. Absolutely. He's got some uh, pretty handy players uh, nipping at his heels. Guys like Greg Inglis. Matt Scott always rates highly in these in the RLW ratings. Uh, Greg Inglis, as I said, Jonathan Thurston, Ben Madalino, some pretty handy players that are, that are there just behind RTS. Yeah, happy days for the uh, the Warriors, certainly with Roger Tuivasa-Shek going there next year and their man Ben Madalino up in our top five at the moment. And Kiwis, uh, Jesse Bromwich is up there in fourth spot, so good days for them, the best team in the world. Matt Scott, as you said, great reward for consistency, always chalks up big metres, big tackles and inspiration in that Cowboys side. So, uh, look, he's another one right on the verge. Only one point behind Roger at the moment. Yeah, this is the oldest individual award in the game. Rugby League Week's been giving it out since the magazine started in 1970. Uh, I think it looks like there's going to be another pretty big name on that award at the end of this year.